least this week. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman, as we continue our coverage from International Women's Day protests here in the United States, dubbed A Day Without a Woman. Democracy Now!'s Dina Guzder spoke to women in Washington Square Park. Um, my name's Jess Lehman, and we came out actually with my colleagues from our office. We collectively have had the opportunity to strike together. Um, I think something that felt important to me was actually standing in solidarity with the women who do do work that means that the fabric of society stays together. And I think they mentioned it here before, but all the unpaid work that goes into contributing to wealth for this society and all societies across the world. This International Women's Day is the first one after Donald Trump's inauguration. What are your thoughts about his presidency so far as a woman? I feel like my fa like the first thought was of being terrified um, and angry, really angry, angry that women are still having to fight for fundamental rights to own their own body, and that any one other person should claim that they have ownership over that or have the right to determine what's right for you because we are self-actualized beings, right? We're also humans, so we should have the chance to be treated as such. I think then it's turned into a kind of desire to be active um, and to channel those feelings and thoughts into something that's productive and also to be very sensitive. You know, I know that I have certain privileges, um, and that's not the same for everyone. My name is Imania Hia. And I am a pharmacy student from LIU, Long Island University in Brooklyn. Well, um, obviously I'm a woman, and um, particularly I'm a Muslim woman, and I'm very proud of that. And um, I'm here to support all women. Um, uh, as a Muslim New Yorker and uh, soon-to-be working women, um, I feel like we're underprivileged in a lot of areas in society, and we're not appreciated enough. And we're speaking just days after Donald Trump announced his second version of his travel ban, what many are calling a Muslim travel ban. Your response to this new travel ban? Just like it came down the first time, it'll come down the second time. That's what I have to say about it. I mean, people are resisting. We're going to continue resisting. Um, resisting works, so that's that's what we're going to do. My name is Miriam Brody, and this is Isaac Kramnik, and we are here to support the various coalitions that have come together to celebrate International Women's Day in this manifestation of, we hope, our strength going forward to resist the movement afoot, alas, in the United States, which will affect us and the world. We're, we're all aware of the great threats on so many levels to our freedoms, to the climate, to our health care, and uh, we think it's imperative to stand up and be counted, and it's not a moment to sit back. My name is Jimena Malaga Sabogal. I'm from Peru. And my sign says, Vivas nos queremos, ni una menos. This was the slogan of a big campaign that started last year in Latin America uh, because of um, Ola, how do you say Ola? Because of a wave of um, feminicides and uh, crimes against women that were sadly pretty much availed by the states that didn't do anything to fight them. So it's something that started in Peru, went through Argentina, Mexico, and many other Latin American countries. And we also feel that from here, women that are immigrants, that are living here in the States, uh, sadly, we, we don't feel that that situation changes at all. So it's just a wake-up call, no? It's ni una menos because we don't want more victims of gender violence. That's voices from a Day Without a Woman rally in Washington Square Park in the village in New York City. You can go to our website at democracynow.org to hear more voices from the protest. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke, Dina Guzder, Nermeen Sheikh, Carla Wills, Laura Gattesdien, or Sam Alcott. John Hamilton, Robbie Karen, Hani Masu, Charina Nadura, and Andre Lewis. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.